In this video, we will demonstrate the step-by-step -step usage of our D100 containment systems for the transfer of low-potency powders. After unfolding the D100, begin attachment by moving the stub to the lower O-ring groove. Next, take the charging neck of the new D100 bag and place it on the second groove of the canister. Ensure that the band clamp covers the O-ring around the entire circumference of the canister. Unfold the bag out sleeve and reach up to pull off the stub. The bag out sleeve ensures a contained switch out between bags. The bag out sleeve is then securely zip tied before beginning the fill. Next, we want to shuffle a small amount of the neck onto the canister to create a clean zone, which will be used to safely crimp and detach the bag from the canister in a later step. A final clamp is needed to cleanly charge the vessel. Ensure the bag is grounded, and then blow air into the bag before letting the powder fill occur. Now, just begin filling the bag with powder. After filling, detach the flex lock to release the clean zone. Make sure to reattach the flex lock prior to crimping. Twist the clean zone and crimp the D100. At this point, the bag can be transported within the facility to charge a reactor, sent to storage, or shipped to another location. When ready to empty, hook the bag up to the lifting bars to move the bag over the reactor. Once brought into position and the grounding cable is attached, it's time to connect the container using the same method shown earlier in the video. First, we bring the neck down and place it onto the second O-ring groove. Secure the connection with a band clamp. Next, we locate the bag out sleeve and use it to remove the stub of the previous bag. Once complete, you should seal off the bag out sleeve with a zip tie. Shuffle the extra material down onto the canister and secure the neck in place with the flex lock. Loosen or fully open the cord locks to let the powder flow out of the bag. When finished, disconnect the grounding cable, release the clean zone, and crimp off the discharge neck and dispose of the bag. For more information, Please feel free to download our user guide or reach out to ILC Dover.